Hello, welcome back to the channel. I want to give a special shout out and thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate the support. Thank you for helping me reach. I have now, I'm halfway there. Um, I have over 500 subscribers now. And I just want to say thank you and continue to leave comments, thumbs up, like, share. Make sure you have those notification bells on. And we're going to get into this video. So, I read the article and it's stating that Monique is suing Netflix for discrimination. Now, I'm going to begin with, um, I am a, I do like Monique. I have been a Monique supporter for all this time up until now. I think that she has every right to express the way she was treated if she feel like they lowballed her with the offer um and if she wanted to let that be known i didn't have a problem with it but at this point i think that she needs to stop this happened in over what a year ago now this is we're um we're heading into 2020 if you wanted to sue why didn't you do it when it first happened? I personally don't feel that she was discriminated against. I feel that you were made an offer for a position. And they said, hey, this is what we're going to offer you to do this job. The job was to do a live stand-up. We'll pay you X amount of dollars. Um, I guess they offered her $500,000. She declined the offer. That's it. That's how it went. So that's not being just, I guess she felt like she was discriminated against because Amy Schumer was offered millions of dollars. I guess she did her stand up for 13 million. I can understand if you feel like that was a slap in the face. That's why you didn't take the position. That's why you didn't do the, the gig. So that's how you handle those type of situation. You voiced your opinion publicly. Then it says something about Kevin Spacey uses the N-word and stated how he didn't want in the N-word people on the set and all this type of stuff. Um, it didn't say how much money she was suing for, but I don't think that she's going to win the case. And this is why, because... Even in the workplace, some, some employers have policies in place where you do not discuss pay grades. You don't just, you don't, you're not allowed to tell people how much you make because everybody does not make the same amount of money. And that's what the issue is. You have a problem with how much and you all could do the same job and everyone does not get paid the same no it is not fair and that's why certain companies have those policies in place to not discuss how much you make and I think that's what's going to be the problem because it's not based upon age or race or whatever is what you were hired in at Sometimes younger people get paid more than older people because they're fresh out of college or something like that. So I think this is a problem she's going to have is proving that she's feeling that maybe it's a race thing, I'm assuming, because Amy is white and she's black. Because I, I don't really understand what type of discrimination because... It didn't say what specific discrimination because you have a lot of discrimination. You have age, race, sex, creed, nation. So it doesn't really say what specific discrimination she's claiming. But I think that at this point, you're beating a dead horse. And you're going to have more people not want to associate themselves with you. I don't think you're, I think you're doing more harm to yourself than good. And I think that you've been doing it for so long. 
that this has became your cause now. There's nothing wrong with speaking up and saying, hey, this is not fair treatment. But at what point do you stop if you're not getting anything accomplished? What is the lawsuit going to accomplish? Do you think it's going to make Netflix pay black people more money? I don't think that you can do that because if you really feel that this company as a whole doesn't see black people as equal, one lawsuit is not going to change that. That's not going to change their view on how they pay black people. So I don't really understand what you... I don't really understand what Monique feels she's going to accomplish with this because I really don't feel there's, there was... Um, she feels like she was discriminated. I don't think that she was discriminated. I think it's more of... My opinion is that you feel devalued. Like they didn't see your worth. And maybe they didn't. But that's not a reason to sue someone. They saying you're not her equal. You're, trying, you're saying I am. They're saying no, we didn't offer you this amount of money. Because we didn't see the value at this level we didn't see that we we're going to make this much money off of you people are not going to watch it people are not going to be interested and i don't know if that's right or wrong per se as for what amy brings in compared to what monique is going to bring in because i i i don't know what the statistics is saying i don't i have i don't know what the data is saying but i'm saying at this point I think Monique is just hurting Monique now. I don't think... I think what she's trying to accomplish, she's not accomplishing at this point. I think you're trying to help the, the black community, and I don't think that's what you're doing. I think you're going to hurt it more than help it. I am curious to know how others feel about this subject. If you know anything about it i would like for you to leave a comment alone do you think that she's doing the right thing by suing netflix do you agree with this decision this choice she's made or do you think that she um that this is just another uh, frivolous lawsuit or do you think that she's going to win the case like do you think that she has a strong case um i don't know what evidence she has to prove that she was discriminated against other than you offered this person more than you offered me. Um, or you don't offer African Americans this type of money, but you only offer certain races this type of money. Like, I don't know. I don't know what evidence she's came up with. I guess this will be interesting to find out. Um, does she actually have some type of data to support... Uh, that you you treat um, African Americans this type of way, or is it just you treated Monique this type of way? Because, like I said, I didn't, I don't really know what the uh, the specific discrimination. Because most uh, most discrimination cases will specifically say, you know, you discriminated against me because of this, 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 this. So I haven't really seen the actual lawsuit. I'm just reading. From an article, uh, I just read an article saying that she sued for discrimination and that they tried to contact her and that um, they got no response from her or Kevin Spacey. Um, yeah, I believe Kevin Spacey. So, if you have any more knowledge of this specific lawsuit, uh, well, not the specific lawsuit, but the, this, the specific discrimination um, that she's claiming then leave that in a comment below. I, I would like to know that also um, because I have taken um, a couple of court classes of uh, on um, pertaining to discrimination and stuff. That's all. I'm just curious to know exactly what type of discrimination she is claiming. And why now? Why all this time later? Why not have filed this case when it first happened? When you first felt like you were wrong? Why did you wait so long to file? Like if you felt this was 
because it's been almost what two years now so if you made it this far please like this video comment share subscribe and until the next one peace